our subject is r and we have to divide both sides by two to make r stand alone so we're going to have two r to the power of three all over two is equal to 54 dividing both sides by two dividing both sides by two two can go here to be one two can go here to be 27 so we are left with r to the power of three all over two is equal to 27 now there is a law in indices that says a to the power of b all over c is equal to the c root of a all to the power of b the next thing to do is to express these in this form so we're going to have square root of r all to the power of 3 is equal to 27. Now notice, we have to remove the power of 3 for us to make r stand alone. So in doing that, we have to cube root both sides. Now, cube rooting both sides, we have to multiply the power of each side by 1 all over 3. So that we have the square root of r all to the power of 3 times 1 all over 3 is equal to 27 to the power of 1 all over 3. So that 3 can cancel 3. This can also be written as the cube root of 27. Now the cube root of 27 is 3 because you can multiply 3 3 times for you to be able to get 27. So what we're left with is the square root of r, which is equal to 3. So squaring both sides, we're going to have um, r will be equal to 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Now we're squaring both sides so that we'll be able to remove the square root sign here. 